Good afternoon. Welcome back to Gigi's Garden. I'm standing in the yard. The yard garden. <laughs> and it's funny because this little tomato, this little tomato plant right here is already flowering. I might pull the flowers off of it because I think it's too little to be setting fruit right now. So I'll do that in a few minutes. I'm getting ready. Put those in my raised bed right now. These, um, I've just, I, I'm telling you, I just threw these out here. And look at them. They're just, <laughs> mostly everything green out here is cabbage or kale. I mean, collards or kale. Well, and uh, amaranth. Collards, kale, amaranth, and lamb's quarter. That's the most stuff that I got growing out here. A little bit of grass. <laughs> But I'm just going to let it go. I got that one chicken to keep coming over here with her little bad self. But she's not eating the greens. She's just out here. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what she'd be doing when she's out here. So I'm going to go put these in the ground. Because I'm going to do one thing today. And I, and that's it. It's so hot out here. I just. Uh, and I'm very tired. It's like I was up late last night. And I wanted to make sure I got one thing done today. Might not be getting that done if I can't get out in the yard. Let's see. There you go. <laughs> so, let's do that. Oh, I'm looking at my uh, tree collars over here. They're doing, eh, they're doing. I might dig them up and put them in this raised bed over here. The only reason I didn't want to do that is because they're supposed to get so big and I didn't want it to be where I couldn't uh, you know harvest off the top of them I wanted to have a chance you know to be able to harvest the top but uh, I didn't bring anything with me so I guess I'll use whatever I got I'll use my hands that's all I need my God-given tools this part of the garden is so shady and there's nothing but um i, I grow cats <laughs> you know really nothing growing over here poison ivy and you know st silly stuff like this tree that will not die for nothing in the world <sighs> i do have my little um fig tree and some comfrey so <laughs> I'm not doing <laughs> sorry I'm not doing too bad if I got comfrey and fig trees so so what I'm gonna do is look down my shirt to make sure that wasn't a bug get out of my beer this dude right here I just set my beer down he's just gonna put his little nose in it but I see all these ants over here on this comfrey so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest a few of these leaves don't just the ones that's really gonna brush up against me while I'm uh, working over here and get these to the chickens I um, harvested a bunch of poke and give it to them and I threw it over here and it is gone 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 uh, it's all gone here we need some greenery so I've been doing a lot of the chop and drop with the uh, poke because it is a big nitrogen uh, crop. So I've just been cutting it down and throwing it, throwing it down over here. But I want to keep this covered over here because it's going to, um, because I have so many worms here in my, um, uh, it my used to be onion bed so chopping and dropping poke over here will feed them and uh, make real good nitrogen for my trees so that's what I'm that's what I'm all about I'm all about these fruit trees getting big and growing great and these uh all this poke here and it's funny because I pull it down, it'll be right back. It'll be right back here next week. So I've been ripping off huge. Look how big these pieces are. 
how big those stems are and just throw them on down there. I gotta be careful because there's a lot of these wild raspberries in here. So, <laughs> and something is, it's gotta be a worm that just ate this whole poor little um, cilantro. It's gotta be a worm. I've been trying to, I don't want the poke competing with my elderberries. This elderberry is, is holding her own, boy. She is holding her own. So, you know, I do pull, pull the poke from around it. And try to help her out. I don't know. I do believe in this tree. This tree is going to make it. <laughs> I think it's going to make it. This is my first time ever trying to plant bare root trees. I've never... I've never planted trees before, so I mean, I've been watching some videos on them, and I see a couple of things that I may have may have done wrong. But uh, spider webs. But um, you know, trial and error. It's trial and error with every garden. If you've been gardening for 15 years, if you've been gardening for 15 seconds, it's trial and error. So that's. You know, that's just what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these dinosaur kale over here on this end. And I want a, I want a good bit of them because I actually really like the dino kale. And I want to plant enough. So I'm going to plant a good bit of them. I don't know. I think they should be okay. I got these little tomatoes all around here. And I think it should be okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let me see if I can set you up. And I'll just drop these seeds. So. There you go. And I don't mind fairy morse. So, I mean, I don't mind fairy morse seeds. Their seeds have done well for me in the past oh I'm like what is that the seeds are literally falling out the bottom okay great and this whole ground is alive over here there's that all the seeds fall out there's everything here potato bugs and field bugs this ground is alive so I want to try not to put too many and I'm trying not to put them too close together but it's going to be some down here on the ground because a bunch of these seeds just fell out of the packet. <laughs> so that's what's... I'm trying not to do like I did over there with those other things. So I'm trying <laughs> to make sure. There you go. So okay so let's not be so reckless with these seeds all them on it and hopefully i'll be out here later to water this in i'm just going to lightly cover them stick just going to lightly cover it cover up these seeds but i got a bunch of seeds down here in my feet you know, so oh well, we're gonna see how that work out. <laughs> I probably have dino kale growing down here on the ground because a bunch of seeds just fell down there on the ground. This ground is full of life, just ants and bugs and everything just running around here, which is fine and it's great because where there's life and diversity in your soil. Uh, in your garden bed it's always a good thing all right well that's all i'm gonna do today i might come back out here later on and do something else in about 15 minutes my daughter's already calling me on the phone because you know Gigi can't walk away god forbid i walk away from the house because <laughs> them babies gonna have a heart attack and two fits so let me get on back in here with these little ones my daughter and her husband and do what I got to do. You know what? Be kind to everyone. It's free. 
and pray for your friends and neighbors and family and pray for your enemies and thank you very much jehovah for this beautiful beautiful day so y'all have a great day bye oh by the way click like and subscribe